Welcome, common sensors, to an episode of Sovereign Citizen Stories, where I find some of the best stories and comments on the internet about sovereign citizens. We read them, we laugh, we have a good time. I got a couple of good ones for you today involving a sovereign citizen who sat in jail for a lot longer than he ultimately had to. Uh, but thank you for tuning into the show, Common Sense Academy. If you like this content, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. That incentivizes me to make more videos. It also tells YouTube that you're watching, you're enjoying, and they give me a higher ranking. In addition, if you like my content and you want more of the great content that I am offering, please sign up for my email list below. If you sign up for my email list, you'll get a free PDF written on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement written by yours truly, Joe the Lawyer, Joe Pometto, Common Sense Academy himself. It's a three-page PDF. It's a nice, fun, concise summary. Now, before we get into the stories, let's do the moment you've all been waiting for, the real reason why you are here, not for the sovereign citizen stories or my magnetic personality, you're here for the same time sip. Get your beverage, whatever it is that you may be drinking today, coffee, Coke, or alcohol, and cheers with me. Same time sip. <sighs> Absolutely delicious. Now, let's dig in to our sovereign citizen stories of the day. So I have one here from uh, an individual calls himself Punchbeard on Reddit. He says, I was a guard at a suburban county jail and the patrolman brought in a sovereign citizen prisoner. Oh joy. I can't remember what the charge was, but I think it was a weapons violation. Oh, and the guy was well into his 60s or 70s. That adds some, uh, that adds some spice to this 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 story. I remember he refused to acknowledge the laws of the state or the country. Because of the stuff he did, like refused to sign any papers or answer any direct questions, he couldn't officially be booked. And since he couldn't be booked, technically he couldn't be given clothes or food, but the sheriff and mayor made sure he was fed and clothed. Otherwise, he was denied all other rights and privileges other prisoners would receive, like mail, phone call, commissary purchases, and eventually visits. The sheriff allowed his wife to visit him in hopes she'd talk some sense into him. But when it became clear that he enjoyed the attention and notoriety he was getting in the local and state press and among other sovereign citizen groups, by continuing to be obtuse, his visits were cut off. And all his crap also kept, kept him from going before a judge. So he sat in an isolated cell with no books, television, or contact with the outside world for at least a month, maybe more. I left the department before his situation was resolved. The craziest thing is that if he had just played ball, he would have never been jailed. He would have been booked, sat in a holding cell for a few hours, seen a judge, and released on bail, or maybe even his own reconnaissance. Instead, he was jailed indefinitely, and I had the displeasure of interacting with him a couple of times, and he was a squirrely nut job. So, I <laughs> just, that, I, I like this story beat for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, it's so true that if he had just if he had just signed some papers and played ball, he wouldn't have sat in jail for an entire month. However, the sad part of the story is that maybe they gave this sovereign citizen gentleman exactly what he wanted, which was notoriety, press, uh, fame. That is maybe worth more to him than the month of his life that he lost sitting in the jail. You got to ask yourself, a lot of crazy stuff you see people see, they're only doing it for attention. People crave attention. That's a reward in and of itself. I firmly believe a lot of these mass shooters out here, I'm not comparing this guy to this mass shooters. Those sovereigns can be dangerous. And they just want the attention. They just want the attention. And we put their name all over the news. They just want the attention. Okay. Okay? We need to stop giving them the attention. That's the fuel for the fire. I believe that is also true as sovereign citizens. This guy who sat in jail for months. 
Okay, see, and this is the Common Sense Academy. I pulled some other stories that I forgot. I thought were funny, not necessarily sovereign. So this one, the yeah, actually these are these few are okay. Those will come later. Um, this is from an, a similar thread, Kerbal's Down Under. He states, as an attorney that works on foreclosures, these sovereign citizens are always the fun ones. Judges are usually pretty entertaining about it. Quote, Judge Hurley, ah. they usually don't let them talk since they say they're there as an agent for the legal fiction of themselves created by their birth certificate. The judge asks, are you an attorney? No, then you can't appear for the defendant. But what does that lead to? Oh, I lost. I, 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 I lost the next one. No, okay, then you can't appear to appear for the defendant. So what does that mean? Well, let's look at the next one. Wise us out. All time favorite. Magistrate, are you John Smith? John Smith. No, I am John. Magistrate, John Smith. John Smith, no. Okay, John Smith convicted in his absence. Next case. Ding, ding, ding. And that's exactly what happens to the smart ass who, try, who says that they're not the individual. They're the agent and settler and representative of the individual who is a personal corporate fiction. Well, these judges can just find you guilty or liable and convicted in your absence because only lawyers, which sovereign citizens do not acknowledge as actually existing or having legitimacy, can represent represent another person in court. Automatic slam dunk for the prosecution. I found one more comment followed up here. It said, uh, this was from a gentleman, deleted his name, um, got a lot of points on Reddit. It says, that cool life hack you thought up, that's called tax fraud. And we've all already thought of it from the IRS. And we all saw that in the article that I posted about a week ago about the soft sits who swindled $3 million from the IRS. You know, if they'd only taken $1 million, they would have probably gotten away with it. So I hope you enjoyed this short dose, this short shot of sovereign citizen joy, fun, jokes, all right? The same time sip that we also enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It's a free and easy way to support the show and incentivize me to make more videos. Also, sign up for my email list and you will get a free PDF on the history of the sovereign citizen movement created by yours truly. Uh, as for, uh, and that's it for now. Please, next time you tune in, give me your name and badge number.